What's up YouTube, Chris here with Trust 360 uh, Sorry for not uploading for a while, I've been busy with college finals, um, getting classes set up for graduation, things like that. Um, so I haven't been, you know, able to upload, but I'm going to get back into uploading here soon, host a couple mod lobbies for you. Um, but before I do all that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys with modded Xboxes how to get your RJH or JTAG to the newest dashboard. Um, so just go ahead and download Flash 360 and um, the XE build in the description. Once you have that downloaded, just go ahead and put Flash 360 on a USB stick or your uh, RGH JTAG console. And then just go ahead and boot up Flash360.xex. Once you've started that up, just go ahead and click X to back up the NAND. Click A to start the dump. Um, once the dump is completed, it'll create a, f a file called flashdmp.bin on the USB stick or wherever you have Flash 360. Um, once it is completed, just go ahead and click any button to continue, click back, and then back again, and then it'll exit the application. Uh, once you do that, just go ahead and remove your USB stick, uh, FTP the files to your computer with Xbox Neighborhood, and I'll show you guys what to do from there. Alright guys, uh, once you have the flash dmp.bin file um, dumped to your USB stick, go ahead and put it on your computer. Um, once you have that on your desktop or on your flash drive, wherever you want to work with it from, and what you want to do, just go ahead and open up the program that I gave you the download link for in the description. Um, it's going to be in this folder here, and just XE Build GUI 2.0. All right, now once this uh, is uh, opened up, what you want to do, you can click Open over here on Source File, and you're going to open the flash dmp.bin file that you extracted. What's this going to do? It's going to import all your information, and all these are going to be green checked at the bottom because it's read all the information from your NAND, um, but it does say CPU key is invalid. So you're going to go ahead and have to find that. Uh, mine's in this folder here, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab it really quickly. Um, click here, and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. And just go ahead and paste it in right there. And then you're going to click check KV. As you can see right there, it says require true. It fills in all that information, and now all these are checked. Once you do that, just go ahead and click generate hacked image. And it's going to go ahead and go ahead and build the new image with the new dashboard kernel and XE build. Um, so as soon as this comes up, it'll say, do you want to close the program? Yes. Clear the log? No. Or leave it the way it is. Click cancel. I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. So it's going to close the program. And as you can see, if you're on our desktop, we have up D flash. Now, once you have that up D flash, what you're going to need to do, go ahead and put it on your USB stick. And uh, see you guys on the console part. Alright guys, now that you have the updflash.bin file on your USB stick or on your RGH already via FTP, um, what you're going to go ahead and do, you're going to boot up to Flash 360, um, but before I do that I'm showing you we are on the 16.537 kernel um, and we are updating to the newest dashboard which is 16.547. So just go ahead and boot up XX menu, um, locate where you have Flash 360 at, make sure that the UPD flash.bin file is in the same directory as flash360 that way it can use it as you can see it is located there so just go ahead and boot up flash360 go ahead and click A and then A again and then it will give you the security message go ahead and click start and then the A button again to begin the uh, flashing process this is going to upload the new NAND to your console with the new kernel um, once this is completed, uh, you'll notice at the bottom it says press any button to continue. So just going to click any button, click the back button once, and then the back button again to shut down. And it'll take about five seconds. It'll automatically shut down your console. And um, what you can do now, just wait about ten seconds, and then you can boot your console back up like that. And uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do and show you guys now that we are on the newest dashboard um, if, it, if it is performed correctly. So it should be 16547, I believe. So just let me go ahead and sign in here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look at that, um, make sure that we are on the new uh, dashboard. This is the first time I'm doing it. So um, hopefully that it, hopefully it did work. Um, so let, let's see if it did. Let's go over here to System Settings. And System Settings, Console Settings. System info, and uh, we are. We're on the 16547 kernel. 
So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned uh, for my modded lobbies. I'll be hosting those very, very soon. So yeah guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.